really do live in a great time right now in the beauty world because there are now so many cruelty-free options and I'm going to tell you my top favorites next. Hey there, Chickadee, how you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. It always makes our day that much more special when you keep us company. I'm Carla from Two Real Chicks. The other real chick, Cindy, is taking a leave of absence. So today I am joining up and collabing with the amazing Penn from Penn Smith Skincare. And we are bringing you our top favorite cruelty-free brands and products. I want to welcome everyone who has come over from Penn's channel and if this is your first time tuning in, whether you're from Penn's channel or you just happen to find us, we thank you so much for being here and we hope that you'll stick around and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Even if you're already subscribed, make sure you've got that notification bell hit. Otherwise, you are not going to know when a new video of ours comes up. YouTube has changed again. And unless you hit that notification bell, you're not going to find us and you're not going to find out when we've got a new awesome video like this one. So be sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe here and over at Penn's channel as well. Let me tell you a little bit about Penn and why I love her so much. Penn is an amazing woman with an incredible heart. She is a beautiful woman and you will look at her and her eyes and just go, wow. But not only will you see beauty in her eyes, you will see warmth and you will see a genuine caring heart. But this girl has got talent and she has got incredible knowledge. She's a licensed esthetician, but she's more than that. She's a certified advanced esthetician. That is a master's level program. And that is the highest level of esthetician that you can get in the state where she lives. So she is an expert without question. She's also an expert at friendship and love. She and I were messaging the other day and she paid me an incredibly kind comment and said how pretty I looked in my latest video. Well, thank you for that, Pen. That's extremely sweet of you. But what you don't know and what the audience doesn't know is that you, Pen, have been the inspiration behind me starting to take better care of myself. Your friendship, your love, your encouragement, your tips, your reviews, your knowledge, all of that has played a huge part in me finally finding me again and starting to take better care of myself and take more pride in my appearance. So I thank you for that. So if you're looking to up your beauty game, definitely check out Penn Smith Skincare. I will link her video and her channel below. So what do you say we get started on some top cruelty-free beauty brands? Perhaps the mother of them all with cruelty free is The Body Shop. The Body Shop started in the 1970s with one single woman who was committed to making the world a better place and taking better care of the planet back before it was way cool and hip and chic. From the beginning, the creator of The Body Shop was committed to cruelty free and to ethically sourced ingredients. Been around since the 70s, I remember an interview with her that I saw back in the 1980s and thought, wow, there's really something different about that company and now it is worldwide. My current favorite from The Body Shop is this tea tree lotion because I do have occasional hormonal acne. Smells so wonderful with that menthol tea tree scent and you can use it all over your face or what I do is just use it as a spot treatment when I get a hormonal acne breakout. I absolutely love this but to be honest with you there's not a single body shop product that I don't like. So if you're looking for the grandmother of them all when it comes to cruelty free it is definitely the body shop. What to look for if you are interested in cruelty-free products? Well, I will put a logo here of the three most common logos that represent cruelty-free. They all have bunnies on them. All three of these mean that the products are not tested on animals, nor are the ingredients in the products tested on animals. I will also list for you in the description box several great websites that are incredible resources where you can find what cruelty free means, different things to look for, list of brands that may surprise you that are on the cruelty free list, but do be aware that not every cruelty free product carries that logo and not every cruelty free product is on every list. So what I do when I'm looking for that is I go to the website from that particular company and I check it out. This is one of my favorite brands hands down and I was thrilled when I found out that it was cruelty free and that is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am in love with their liquid lipsticks and if you were to look at my collection in my beauty room you would know that that is true because they are everywhere but they are just so incredibly rich. Now they are dry on the lips but honey these things stay 
all day. They ain't going anywhere. They ain't budging. They are kiss proof and transfer proof and they come in some beautiful shades. The Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks, I think they are iconic already and I think they really are the leader in liquid lipsticks. You cannot go wrong with an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. They have several different versions now and I love absolutely all of them. I mean, just take a look at that. Look, look, just, 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 just look at that. I mean, it's beaming from outer space. If you want a beautiful highlight or a beautiful bronzer or just a little bit of shimmer, you can make it as intense or as subtle as you want it to be. It goes on well and it stays very well. It is a very great quality highlighter. I also love that they come in the kits with several different shades so you can mix and match to find your perfect color. You know what else this is good for? Eyeshadow especially if you want it right here on the inner tear ducts. And these other ones make for great transition shades and lid shades. Another favorite from Anastasia Beverly Hills is the contour kit. I have both the cream version and the powder version. And if you have dry skin, the cream version may be a great option for you. They are not ashy, they are not gray, they are just the perfect tone. And these kits come in both light and deeper tones. So if you have a dark skin tone, they've got a deeper kit for you. And for those of us with pale skin, they've got a lighter kit. And I just love that they don't turn orange, they don't don't turn a funky color, they don't oxidize, they just are the perfect contour and they go on like butter. ColourPop! I do love me some ColourPop. In fact, this first palette is appropriately named. It's called I Think I Love You and I do indeed. Not only think I love this palette, I adore this palette. I adore pretty much everything from ColourPop. I have not tried a bad ColourPop product yet. Now, ColourPop is also vegan. I want to throw that in as well. I am a sucker for their lipsticks and I am a sucker for their eye palettes. And this palette, just, just take a look at that. Can we just take a moment and just... Oh. It has got the perfect mix of shimmers and mattes. These create the perfect bronze look. Every shade from ColourPop that I have ever tried has an incredible color payoff. They blend beautifully. They're super soft. I have never tried a bad ColourPop eye product. Nor have I ever tried a bad ColourPop lip product. I absolutely adore their matte liquid lipsticks. Now, if you don't like super dry lipsticks, you might want to go for either their Luxe lipsticks or for their lippy sticks. But these matte lipsticks are of the as good a quality as Anastasia Beverly Hills and they're only $6.50. I mean, yeah, this palette from ColourPop, $16. These lippy sticks, which are also matte, but they're not as drying. And I like that they're thinner because they really do just mold to the shape of your lip and help you get a perfect line every time. They dry down matte, but they're not an uncomfortable dry. They're not transfer proof, but let me tell you, these are, these matte liquid lipsticks are definitely transfer proof. They stay all day. They also make awesome lip glosses and a satin lip that is kind of a combination between the gloss and the matte. It's not as dry. I'm telling you, whatever your preference is when it comes to textures, you will find a beautiful shade with ColourPop. One thing I like about both ColourPop and about Anastasia Beverly Hills is their formula stays the same pretty much across all of their shades with their lip products. There are some brands, particularly that make liquid lipsticks, that the consistency is just not there between the different colors. It is there with ColourPop and Anastasia Beverly Hills. One of the great things about cruelty-free makeup being in demand and popular now is that not only are high-end brands embracing it, but more affordable brands are as well. Just like ColourPop, The Ordinary is an incredibly affordable brand. It is also cruelty-free. I have so many Ordinary products, I can't tell you all of my favorites in this video because we'd be here for two hours. But I will tell you a few of them. And I also have a video that gives you an overview and a rundown of 20 Ordinary products. I will link that up above and down in the description box down below for you so you can check that out. And also by request and by popular demand, I have coming up for you very soon my top 10 Ordinary products. But for this video, I have narrowed it down 
to share with you three products that I absolutely love and use on a daily basis almost. Their foundation is incredible. It is about $7 and this foundation is one of the best that I have ever tried in my entire life. We have a review of that where we go into full details of just how spectacular I find this foundation to be. This is the full coverage foundation. They also make a serum if you're looking for something lighter weight. It comes in so many shades. Not only does it come in shades, but it comes in tones. So if you are someone who has a yellow undertone, they make one for you. If you are someone who has a pink undertone they make one for you and if you're like me and they're neutral they make one for you too my shade is 1.2 n and this is a skin adapting makeup meaning that it is supposed to melt with your skin and match you within three shades i have used many high-end foundations in my life i still have quite a few in my collection that i'm going through but i will always be a user of the ordinary because i love it Two of my other must-haves from The Ordinary are skincare serums. One is Buffet. It is a peptide serum that has so many good ingredients in it that your skin just drinks it in. It goes, ah, oh, thank you for feeding me and for nourishing me. And the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hyaluronic Acid is known for bringing and holding moisture into the skin. It just kind of holds up to 1,000 times its weight in moisture. So if you are dry skin and you are fighting aging, hyaluronic acid is something that I highly recommend. And this one from The Ordinary is a winner. If I could only have three products from The Ordinary, it would be the foundation and these two serums. But don't ever do that to me. Don't ever limit me to just three. I might die. Really, I might just croak. They're sticking with skincare, Skin Iceland. And one of my favorite products from them is this facelift in a bag. I love their sense of humor as they're describing this. On the front of it, it says, celebrated a big birthday, wished for a new car, woke up with a new forehead crinkle instead, went to the movies, forgot my glasses, can crow's feet get a standing ovation? Two days till my high school reunion, totally stressed out. Where did these deep creases come from? My face needs a fast fix that will stop wrinkles in their tracks. And that's why they made facelift in a bag. Use this and you will be toned, tightened, and refreshed and feel like you have just been to a spa. I love these Skin Iceland blemish dots. I do get hormonal acne. Damn communist hormones. Ugh. They're from the devil, I tell you, from the devil. If you are going through menopause like I am, you know what I'm talking about with hormonal acne. These little suckers are great. You take these out and they come in two sizes. They're little bitty dots. They have smaller ones for a normal pimple and larger ones for a big old honking zit that just moves in and takes up residence and you know exactly what I'm talking about. You peel one of these off, you place it on the blemish and it draws it out and dries it up almost overnight. It's a miracle worker. Another favorite of mine from Skin Iceland is their under eye treatment and it really is a treatment and it really is a treat. It is soothing. It is cooling. It comes out, you twist it up and when it comes out it's just ah and it helps with those bags and that puffiness and it just helps kind of pull that and tighten that up together. It's a wonderful product. I love Skin Iceland products. I think they're very underrated. They're available at Ulta as well as other sites online. If you haven't tried Skin Iceland, you're missing something for sure. Another pioneering product when it comes to cruelty-free is Bare Minerals. This is the original mineral foundation and it will always be one of my makeup loves. I absolutely have loved this from the very first time that I used it. It is an incredible foundation. If you like powder foundations and if your skin can take to it, this is the mama of all mineral foundations. There is none better. And if you ask me, Bare Minerals doesn't make a bad product. Hand me some Bare Minerals and I'm a happy girl. Two of my most recent cruelty-free discoveries are now two of my all-time favorite makeup products, period. And that's one of the great things about cruelty-free products now, is they're good quality products. Half the time, you probably don't even know that you're using something cruelty-free because so many companies are embracing that value and that ethic now. 
and they're just good brands and cover effects. My gosh, what took me so long to try you? Where have you been all my life? I am loving the Illuminating Blurring Primer. Oh, and it does indeed blur fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. I like a blurring primer. I've tried some though that are so slippery that they're almost greasy. This comes off as silky and it is absolute perfection in a tube. And the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. I do like the illuminating version. Again, this is not something that gives you an oil slick look. It just gives you a nice glow, just a nice little bit of a highlight. Look at that fine mist. It comes out in such a fine mist. The first couple times that I used it, because I was used to so many brands that just go psh, like a water hose straight onto your face, I was like, is it coming out? And then I realized it's in a fine mist and that fine mist gets evenly distributed so you don't get any spots or any wonky little dots on your face. This is a beautiful setting spray. I will repurchase this again and again, as well as the primer for sure. Now, before I tell you these next favorites, you need to understand that for years, I was a makeup snob. I wouldn't touch drugstore makeup with a 10-foot pole because I just didn't trust drugstore makeup. The little bit that I had tried did not work well for me at all. So I was a makeup snob. And then a couple of years ago, I tried e.l.f. and oh man, am I a huge convert. e.l.f. is not only cruelty free, it is vegan too. And some of my favorites include these eye palettes. They are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just, just look at these. I'm gonna show you just a few because yeah, I do have a whole bunch of them. Just absolutely beautiful colors. These are, 10 pans in a palette. They are 10 bucks for a palette. I'm telling you, e.l.f. doesn't make a bad eyeshadow. They are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous palettes. I love them. One more, I'll show you one more. Sadly, this is not all of mine. I think I have every palette that e.l.f. makes because they're good quality. And again, 10 pans for 10 bucks, that's a buck a pan, a buck a shade. You can't beat that. And many of these really give the Urban Decay Naked palettes a run for their money, I'm telling you. I also really like these new little twosomes that recently came out from e.l.f. They are designed to complement each other and pair up beautifully. They come with two shades. And when I first saw it, I was like, that is a tiny little thing, even though it's only three bucks. But then I looked at it, the pans are pretty large. They're about the size of a quarter. And they do complement each other beautifully. They're soft, they're romantic, and you can get some really pretty looks with these. Again, e.l.f. doesn't make a bad eyeshadow, in my opinion. I don't care for e.l.f. skincare at all, but I do really like this primer from the Beauty Shield line. It is a beautiful primer that really does just lock your makeup on. I mean, it cements it on your face without it looking cakey or cracky. It has an SPF in it. Of course, you never want to use that alone. You always want to use an F SPF under your makeup as well. But to have an extra SPF of 50 in your primer, hey, that never hurts either, does it? And it has a nice Nice slip to it without feeling like Vaseline on your face. Love this, but my absolute all-time favorite, favorite, favorite e.l.f. product is the e.l.f. Foundation, the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation. This is a gorgeous foundation, and it is an exact dupe for NARS Illuminating All Day Weightless foundation. We have a video, I will link it for you up above and down below in the description box, showing you a side-by-side -side comparison. You cannot tell a difference. Dupes, absolute dupes. I would call it a medium to full coverage foundation. It's buildable. It is easy to find a color match and it blends well and it has some pretty good staying power. It lasts a good long time. Love this foundation. And guess what? This one is $6.00. This one is $48. There's a little bit less in this one than there is this one, but you can buy eight of these for the price that you can buy one of these. This one is not cruelty free. This one is. We interrupted this video for a giveaway. Yay! I have got a basket full of cruelty free products 
just for you. Yep, these are all e.l.f. products and these are some of my favorites. I don't even know what's in here. I just put together a full basket. You're going to get some nail polish from e.l.f. Three different nail polishes in this set, perfect for summer. You are going to get this full-sized palette. It's one of the palettes that I just showed you. This is the Prism Eyeshadow Palette in Naked or Natural. It's a beautiful shimmer palette. You are going to get the HD Setting Powder Compact. You are going to get the contour and uh, the contouring blush and bronzing powder duo. This is a dupe for NARS, by the way. Let's see, you are also going to get a baked highlighter. You are going to get one of my absolute favorites. This is the under eye setting powder. Great for those of us who are mature ladies who have dry under eye area, but we still need to set our concealer. Perfect for that. You are going to get this new formula mascara from e.l.f. And let's see what else have we got in here. Oh, we have a lip gloss. This is a lip lacquer. I chose a clear one, so this would match any skin tone. What else is in here? Oh, we have a one, two, three, four, five, five piece brush set from e.l.f. That is also cruelty free. All of their brushes are also cruelty free. And I'm going to give you this beautiful pink sparkly makeup bag because it's pink and it's sparkly and who doesn't like pink sparkly things, right? So here's how we're gonna do the giveaway. I'm going to use Random Picker because you seem to like that method best. So you must be subscribed to this channel and you must have the notification bell hit. So be subscribed, stay subscribed, and make sure that you've got that notification bell hit. Now, in the comments section down below, tell me your favorite cruelty-free product, or if you've not tried any, Tell me a cruelty-free brand or product that you would like to use and like to try. That's it. Good luck. Now, back to the video. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but e.l.f. is also 100% vegan along with being cruelty-free. Another one of my top favorite e.l.f. products is this $2, yes, $2 eyebrow pencil. This is an amazing eyebrow pencil. It comes out, it twists up, comes to a point, it goes on as lightly or as heavily as you want it to be. It's very smooth, it doesn't skip, and it also comes with the spoolie on the end. And even if you bought a cheap spoolie, you're gonna spend $2. So this is a great little eyebrow pencil for $2. And for your convenience, all of the products that I mentioned today are going to be listed in the description box below so that you can go back and refer to them. And you also may want to save this video to your favorites into your playlist so that you can go back and use it as a reference guide. Not only was I a makeup snob for years, I was particularly a wet and wild makeup snob. And let's face it, I'm 50 years old and back in the day in the 70s and 80s, wet and wild was a little bit sketchy, a little dodgy. It wasn't the greatest quality. They have kicked up their game big time and they are also cruelty free. And the two products that changed my mind about wet and wild forever are the Photo Focus Foundation and these liquid catsuit liquid lipsticks. These are amazing. This foundation is something that I wear on a regular basis, even to very fancy or formal events because it is a good foundation. It goes on smoothly. It has a nice color match. It's not too thick. Now it does have a smell to it. It smells like latex paint. I'm going to be honest. If you were to paint the rooms in your house, that's what this smells like. But it dissipates pretty quickly. It doesn't stay on your face. It's just while you're applying it. It applies very smoothly, very easily. I prefer using a brush with it, but that's your personal preference. This is a really good foundation that has a lot of staying power. Speaking of staying power, these catsuit liquid lipsticks are amazing. They have also expanded their color range. These can be a little bit drying, but they are transfer proof. I gave them an, an eight hour and 12 hour test and I'm telling you, these suckers last and they're kiss proof. Love them. Haven't met a shade of these that I don't like yet. If you were to only have one eyeshadow palette in your collection, Perhaps it should be this one. Another leader in cruelty-free makeup is Kat Von D. And the Shade and Light eyeshadow palette has reached iconic status and for good reason. It is a beautiful matte palette. And the thing that's so unique about this is it's got your warm tones, your cool tones, and your neutral tones. And you can create so many beautiful eye looks, whether you want natural or dramatic. They blend well, they go on smoothly, they don't crease, 
they last, they're gorgeous colors, they go with any outfit that you're wearing. Stunning eyeshadow palette here from Kat Von D. It's really awesome when one of your favorite products overall falls into the cruelty-free category. And for me, that is the Balms Mary Luminizer. To me, hands down, this is the best highlighting powder that ever was created. I mean, my gosh, just, ah! Oh, it's like planes could land to this, you know what I mean? It's like runway strip highlight going on here. Planes could see you from in the sky. Love this. There's not a balm product that I don't like, but hands down my favorite is the Mary Luminizer Highlighting Powder. It's just a beautiful product. And finally, last but by certainly no means least, Merle Norman Cosmetics. Merle Norman holds a special place in my heart because on my 13th birthday, my mother marched me into the closest Merle Norman studio and said to the makeup artist there, if she's going to wear makeup, I want her to A, have the good stuff, and B, learn how to do it right. So fix her up. And fix me up, they did. They fixed me up with age-appropriate makeup as well as age-appropriate skincare. And I grew up with Merrill Norman from age 13 on up into my 30s. I used it for 20 some years and then I started incorporating other brands into my routine and got away from some of it but I am telling you I am very soon going back to Merle Norman it is one of the highest finest quality makeup brands that you will ever find I used to joke and call it my Merle Haggard face country music fans will get that for sure Merle Norman is a brand that I will always love it almost brings me to tears because Merle Norman helped me feel pretty on some of my darkest, downest days. But Merle Norman is also an incredible company because they don't sell online. What they do is they have individual studios that are in cities all over the country. And I highly encourage you to go check out a Merle Norman studio near you. They are franchised and many, if not most of them, are owned by women. So when you go and you shop at a Merle Norman studio, you are supporting a locally owned and quite possibly a female owned business. You're helping a family and you're using a great brand that is also cruelty free. So hats off to Merrill Norman for being a leader in the industry and always, always a classic. And let me tell you what I'm wearing today. Everything on my face right down to my eyelashes are cruelty free products. I am wearing the Ordinary Foundation. I am also wearing the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer, the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. For my blush, I am using the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Total Face Palette, using that for the little blush. I am also using for setting powder, the e.l.f. HD Setting Powder. I have on the ColourPop I Think I Love You Palette, because I do love this palette. I've got on the Balms Mary Luminizer, and this beautiful Red Delicious lip color is by e.l.f. And this is called Red Apple, and this is their High Shine Liquid Lipstick. This is like $3. When Penn and I first came up with this idea to do a cruelty-free video, we had no idea that we would come across so many favorites. We really didn't know that there were that many out there that would meet the criteria that we were looking for. So it was actually difficult to dwindle it down to, I know what seems like a lot, but it was difficult to dwindle it down to just these few. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure after this video is over that you head on over to Penn Smith Skincare. I don't know what she chose. She doesn't know what I chose, so I can't wait to see her video. And Penn, thank you so much for collabing with me. She is one of the sweetest people that you will ever, ever meet. And I know that you are going to love her as much as I do. Love you, honey. It's always a pleasure. And it's always a pleasure being with you. We thank you so much for being here. So subscribe, comment, notification bell. Join us next time. Oh, I forgot to mention the contest is going to run through July 31st. So get your entries in quickly, okay? So until next time, God bless you. I'm Carla for Two Real Chicks. We love you. Bye-bye. Take care.